<laughs> He's phenomenal, and he also is going to tell you a very heartfelt, vulnerable story. So please put your hands together for Greg. Thank you. Truth or consequences? Which one will you choose? For years, I thought telling a small lie here and there would have little to no consequences in my life. I mean, after all, it seems to be the norm nowadays. People lie on a regular basis, and no one seems to care. But I'm here to tell you that the smallest discrepancy can lead to other things that can cause many problems. On your phone and social media, your Facebook feed, Instagram, all these different bits of information are coming at you so fast, you don't know how to decipher the truth as whether or not it's real or if it's fake. For years, I operated my business, and I knew that I was in trouble. My ego kept pulling me. He would speak to me in my ear and say, don't worry, it's going to be fine. We'll get through this. It's going to be all right. But I knew things were bad, and I knew I needed to stop. My friends begged me to close my doors. They asked me to file bankruptcy, but I couldn't bring myself to do it because my ego was too strong. But I paid the ultimate price. The night before I was to go to court, my eight-year-old daughter held me in her arms, and she begged me, crying and pleading, please, please don't go. Don't leave me. But there was nothing I could do. The next morning, I was sentenced to six years in the Department of Corrections. I was gone out of her life for a long time. As I sat by myself in my facility that they put me at alone, I thought, I thought to myself, what am I going to do? The judge's words rang in my ears. Your actions have affected many people not just your victims, their families, their friends, your family, your friends, this whole community has been affected by what you've done. It was hard words to hear, but a lesson I had to learn. Shame overwhelmed me. It literally took my soul away for a long, long time. I didn't know what to do, but I promised myself that I was going to learn from this experience. I began to pray every day. I began to meditate. I read over 100 books. I started to write. I started to journal. I started to do anything I could to improve myself, to become a better person. As soon as I was released, the first thing I did was volunteer. Not because I was told to, because I knew I had to get back to society. I had to start again and try to become a better person and a better man. I was fortunate to have my family and friends behind me, cheering me on, making sure that I stayed true to my word. Most importantly, I was very thankful that if they thought for a moment that I wasn't being honest, they were sure to check me and question me. Your reputation is something that, in today's world, can be ruined in an instant. We see it every day. People fall from grace for Sometimes very large mistakes, but sometimes even the smallest mistake can cause them to have their life forever changed. And I'm no exception. Trying to get over what people were saying about me or thinking about me has been one of my biggest struggles. But in the end, I realized that what people say about me really is not my business. I have to forgive myself first and then seek the forgiveness of others by being true to my actions and being a good, honest person. That's what's most important. I try to give love and gratitude and be thankful for the smallest things in my life now every day. I take nothing for granted because I realize in a second it could be gone. I hope you hear my words because, you know, I think the way that the world is going now or lying seems to be acceptable and people don't think anything's going to happen, my story is an example that I started out with a very small lie, and things kind of went on and on to the point where it overcame my life. I'll never go back to my lying ways because I know that being honest and true is the most important thing, and it's by far given me the most strength 
to be the most powerful version of myself, and some great people have come into my life because of it. Thank you.